Hey, how are you doing guys? It's Terry here. So I just came home today and I realized that I've got a slight aphid infestation in my garden. So I'm just going to show you that and quickly show you how I'm going to remedy that. So here's a quick update of what I have in my garden. Starting on the left side here, I've got some chives and the chive blossoms are kind of dying there. There's some sage that I cut off from this plant here and stuck it in my wicking pot and that seems to be growing really well. A couple of tomato or potato plants, they're not doing as well as my other potato plants which are all the way down here. You can see how much bigger these plants are and I, I planted these at the same time as those two down at the far end there and I've got these guys in bags and they're just thriving and I'm going to go into why they're um, thriving in another video. So back to here I've got my, my numerous garlics and Brussels sprouts. Now one mistake that I made when I started growing um, this season was to mix my garlic with Brussels sprouts and the reason why is because garlic uh, towards the end when you're going to harvest you should actually stop watering them so next year what I will do is probably just grow garlic in one container one or two containers by itself and um, any other leafy greens I'll grow in another pot there's my mint sage thyme strawberries and those guys are coming along really well you can see some fruit there more garlic and Brussels sprouts you can see that my my garlic scapes have started coming out so I'll probably let's see if I can find I'll probably start harvesting those guys pretty soon and add those to my meals the Brussels sprouts are starting to come along here there's my tomato. I, I made a quick and easy greenhouse for my tomatoes. All I did was put a couple of thumbtacks there, sheet of plastic, tied this down on towards that handle there and, and there's a handle here for one of my potato bags. That just prevents the wind from lifting it off and that's just to keep the rain off my leaves so that they don't go brown on me. It seems to be working well. And this little leaf here was exposed and it's black whereas the rest of it is actually green. So there's my potatoes again. Some more garlic. Fortunately that's kind of being shaded by the potatoes so I'll probably have to move this guy over. And here I've got some um, just making some distilled water for my carnivorous plants because you can't feed them with or water them with tap water you have to use either rain water or distilled water so I'm just making my own distilled water there rosemary got some oregano and uh, just a few more garlic there so right here is what I wanted to show you see so you zoom that in there as you can see I've got a huge aphid infestation and they're quite lively and they're only localized on this one Brussels sprout just at the top top one quarter so I'm going to sacrifice that top one quarter of this plant and uh, and kill off these guys so let me show you how I'm going to do that right now got my trusty pruner here okay, so. I'm gonna cut it about an inch below the stem or below the bud there. and that's gonna be probably 95% of all the aphids and the rest are probably just squash now after I cut this off, I'm going to plunge the whole thing into some hot soapy water so I can kill off those aphids. So I'm going to do that now because I've only got one hand. I, I need another hand in order to catch this thing. So uh, I'm going to stop it and uh, start up again once I get it into the soap. 
Okay, so I've cut the top of the Brussels sprout off and they're all in there so I'm just going to plunge that in the water now. Let's see if I can get a close up of this. So the reason why I'm not just dumping it in the garbage is because they may escape and wind up infesting another plant somewhere. Uh, so it's better just to get rid of them and then I'll have a little bit of peace of mind. And I'm lucky I caught them early. If I had waited another day or two, they might have um, they might have expanded onto some of my other crops and if you look at how close these brussels sprouts are to my tomatoes and my potato plants uh, they probably would have been there with, within another two or three more days so I'm really really glad that I caught them so you can see there's a couple there I'm just gonna squash it with my hand There we go. I think I got most of that. I'll just do a little more thorough searching after I stop this video. But that's how to really quickly kill aphids um, at the cost of sacrificing a bit of my plant. But I have enough Brussels sprouts to last myself for the rest of the year. So I think I'm okay. That was a worthy sacrifice indeed. Okay, thanks for watching guys. And we'll see you next time.